Running late, nothing unusual. It's hot on this train. It's sweaty. It is so hot. Try not to get run over. Hoping we can get a cocktail, breakfast cocktail. We need to talk, <laughs> we need to talk about dust load. The dust is finally got out of my system. Yes. I think we're dubbing it as dust load. Definitely. Or drought load. Um, <laughs> I think dust load is better. It's the footage I've seen of Lorna Shaw. Yeah. The... Maybe it's me. But it looks like they've got a smoke machine, but it's not. It's right. just. <laughs> we are right at the front in that. Yeah. It wasn't too bad in RIP because we had a lot of nice green grass. Mm. But everywhere else. I wish I'd made the decision you did though to buy a bandana. Yeah. The, the last couple of days where I put a bandana over me nose and mouth like i could breathe so much better yeah. um so if we have another hot hot and dusty one yeah i'm gonna take year. one with me yeah definitely i've got take loads one. at home i just didn't think about it yeah but... made such a difference i'm annoyed that i didn't think about it sooner how do we get over there uh this way let me just turn around we got the seaside yeah yeah, so rubbing my eyes from the hay fever because they were itchy. But the dust, the grit, was just like slicing my eyeballs open. I think that's what's kind of sucked my energy away by the Sunday as well. I was just exhausted. Thing, was of, with the heat, like, I had an amazing time, but we, we had to kind of get smart on what bands we were watching. Yeah, we, we had a, quite a huge list of bands that we wanted to watch because it was so hot. Um, really exhausting. We had to kind of cut it down to the absolute must. Yeah, and then we just had to rest. So um, um, we went back to the campsite because there was this little shaded tree area. Yeah, like ba so basically camp just set up fun. camp under a tree. But there was quite a few people doing the same thing. Yeah, there, there was someone on the last day, the Sunday, he was so exhausted. He didn't leave the campsite. He couldn't move. He was just so hot. But I showed him my, my top tip. I filled up my cool box with water i ice cold water and just put my feet in it yeah <laughs> sounds a bit gross but i wasn't going to use it it was on the sunday so i didn't need it for cooling stuff anymore let's cross the road again and just cooling down your feet it just makes such a difference it's so nice andy reckons they look like a hillbilly yeah it's like for red legs. it works like it, it works. works just get those feet in nice cold water so yeah, this guy did that and everyone walking past were like, that's such a good idea. Yeah, there was just suddenly a sea of like people emptying out their like empty cool boxes and like filling just filling them up with ice cold water. It's like, it just that made such so a difference. Good. He actually managed to get enough energy to go and get some food. Yeah. And he, yeah, he just didn't have enough energy to do anything before that. So let me just show you the seaside. Yeah, it's nice here. I think they, well, they import the sand from France, but it's cute. Personally, I miss the Thursday. Yeah. I will say, Thursday's a special day. Because the Wednesday, you're always tired setting up. Yeah. Um, but you have drinks, you end up usually passing out on Wednesday. Probably drunk, but the Thursday, you have that bit of energy to go around. I don't know, it was nice having the music, but. Yeah. I think a lot of people missed having the Thursday as a chill day because it is. It takes a lot of energy to walk around in an arena day. Yeah. We walked 20 kilometers a day um, during the arena days. So we were just kind of shuffling. Just from stage um, to stage even, or to just yeah. get food, or back to the guest area, yeah. get a drink. It's a lot more walking, so it takes a lot more energy. So. Whereas Thursday, we tend to just stay in the guest area. <laughs> yeah, maybe pop to the village, but it's a lot more chilled usually on a Thursday. Yeah. But we're back to three days next year. Yeah. So, Too late. Yeah. Cocktails are here. Breakfast cocktails. Okay. Again. Yeah. I think cocktails are acceptable before midday. It's brunch. Yes. I didn't go into the side splitter. That's that's a regret of that. That is a regret, yeah. Because we walked past it and they were playing like lots of fun sort of music. Like, like 80s, pop music. Pop music yeah. And everything. 
And I heard a little sing as I went past it, but we never actually went in no. the side splitter. So that's something for next year. Yeah. Have a bit of a dance in the side splitter when they've got the music on there. Yeah. Um, even the dog house. So, even, so even the dog house. The dog house we didn't use that much. Uh, to, just because I think the beers by the end of it, I guess yeah, it's too heavy for me. I find like, obviously we get drunk on the Wednesday. Yeah. And then after that, I just find it really hard. I drink, I drink a lot. Um, don't seem to get drunk. I don't know if it's the heat, you just kind of sweat it out or your tolerance just builds well, up. Yeah. On the Saturday, we were, we felt we felt like we were just waste throwing money away it's because just, we were drinking and yeah. drinking and nothing but was happening. This happens every time we, we're in the arena and we're drinking and it just doesn't do anything. Uh, You're like, it's just, not just, by the Saturday. Oh uh, yeah, the, the longer it goes on, you just, just don't get drunk. So yeah, maybe we have to take some spirits next time. Obviously it's a lot busier in the arena because it's sold out. Yeah. Um, and they moved Proud. a lot of the stalls, like clothing stalls and stuff, into the village. But they still had some at the back. Yeah, the, pa um, yeah, the patches behind the, and... Behind the second... Patches and belts. Behind the second... Well, in front of the second stage. Yeah. Um, which was more than I thought it was going to be there. It was. The only problem was because of how busy the second stage was. You just trying to get out that way. You couldn't get out around that way. No, it was super dusty up there. It's always really dusty up there, no matter what the weather is. Um, I didn't actually make it into any of those shops. I, don't, I had a wonder. I don't, I don't like the really big crowds of people. I just, no, I'm not really a crowd person. No, it's because you're short. Um, yeah, because I'm little. Um, but I was happy with not having so many clothing shops and stuff. Because, there's plenty of food. Because there's more food. Yeah and I like food a lot and I think it just made sense like if it wasn't sold out then yeah you yeah. have to have the clothing stores but with how busy it was you just wouldn't be able to move at all if there was more stuff in there no you needed that open space because that's what it was like and you couldn't really just chill out and no. sit down on the grass because I mean people did people did in Chelsea it was, yeah, there's a lot of people sat there. Understandably. Yeah, because it is. hard work. But I think it makes sense not having so many clothing shops. They couldn't do any of the, like, um, what they used to do, like, these battle tournaments. Mm. And, yeah, they used to have a lot more stuff in the arena. I feel like it made the village feel a bit more alive as well. This yeah, it made that a bit busier. Because because it was quite sparse last year. Yeah. It was, there was more stuff in the village, which made more sense because it was so empty last time, it was weird. You just walked for ages and there was nothing. So that was better. So yeah, I, I was happy with the, the layout, I suppose. But I do think because it was sold out, they do need to try and, if they can, make the arena bigger. Yeah. If that's going to be the new, the new thing now. If, if that's going to be the, yeah, the level of how many people, I'm which is sure. great. It's great that the festival is selling out. Yeah. And I think yeah, having like, thing. bring me headline, um, brought in the younger crowd, oh, this is great. which is obviously what the, the festival does need. Yeah. Um, so yeah, it might sell out again, you never know. Um, in which case, I think they do need to make the arena bigger. Can they get an yeah. extra field somewhere or shift it? It's I just, don't know. I just want some more of the fun things, like you were saying about like... Just, like yeah. I'm not, but you know, they had the wrestling. I'm not saying you have to have wrestling, but they used to have like the entertainment. Just like little fighting, extras and little... make it a bit more special. Because when well, you're not watching the but music... But there wasn't enough space to do that. So I understand that. Yeah, it I do. Uh, and that's why I need a bit. Because if, you, no if you're not watching music, there's nothing else to do, really. No. There's no other kind of little... Which is fine for us, because we do have the village. But if you're a day ticket holder... Yeah. Even things like these have the old shisha huts, anything like that. Yeah, or like, the shisha. Or oxygen bars, anything. All the silly yeah, things. The, si the All the silly things have gone now that they had. Yeah, it's down to like basics. What do you need? Food, drink. Ah, oh, drink. So, obviously with a sponsor, you're only going to get whatever that sponsor has. So obviously it's like Carlsberg everywhere. Yeah. But with the cocktails, like, yeah. you just didn't have any variety. It was like There was no independent cocktail shops, no. Cocktails, like before I'd be able to get a pina colada, like there was independent little like buses and stuff. Yeah, doing cocktails. It was more authentic. But now they have an official cocktail no, sponsor. I, it was fine. It wasn't, it was just out of But they were just on tap, it's they were on tap. Yeah, yeah. yeah. they sell them in cans, like, so it's just, you know. Apart from in Park Farm, we got a little shop. 
Yeah, but that's um, a can again. But yeah. it was cans, but they had more options. They had pina colada. So. Yeah, the pina colada cans, so that was nice. And a strawberry but, daiquiri can, so. But previously, they had a cocktail bus in the guest area, and it was authentic. It was proper. Crushed ice. Yeah, they would actually make cocktails, not just serve it off a tap. Um, so I was a bit gutted about that. But I still enjoyed the cocktails because it was hot. It was fine. Because it was hot, I, I yeah. didn't enjoy you having cocktails. But that is the thing when you have a sponsor, that's the only thing you'll find. So you'll yeah. only, only find that. Yeah, even Rocktail Cocktail was selling the same. They would sell it, yeah. The same cocktails as anywhere else. Yeah. That like you could have got off the normal bar, so I was a bit like, no. Oh. Yeah, so that's annoying, but it is what it is. Festivals need sponsors. And the pri- but the prices weren't bad, I personally don't think, because we're from right. the South. Yeah, because we are from the South, the prices for food and drink. With a pretty reasonable Mirrored price. what we pay in Bristol or in our own town. So. Yeah. So we didn't have a problem with the prices. And it, it was good food as well, especially in the guest area. Like the food was incredible. Oh, it was amazing. So Your Wago good. burger. You were waiting all year oh, for that. Ah, that Wago burger. Yeah, the food was great. Couldn't fault it. Pizza was in amazing. the village, I don't think it was like great. No, we no the village food we had was a bit crap. Yeah. To be quite honest. Yeah, I, yeah, so. yeah. We had a questionable burrito. Yeah. Questionable, was, warm. It was warm. Yeah. I don't think there was that much option in the village either, so I felt sorry for the general campers. Um, yeah, I don't know if they have any more food stores in the camping area or not. They might have like a little burger van. I don't they? know, we don't, we don't we go don't to know. general camping anymore. After that's no. Yeah. But yeah, we were completely spoiled for the quality of food in the best area on the side. And in the arena was good as well, I thought. Um, yeah, we were happy with the process. No problem with that. Yeah. Got some pins. Yeah. So when we turned up to Park Farm on the Wednesday morning, um, they didn't have anyone that knew what to do. Um, so us regulars had to kind of tell the Stewards. stewards um, how it worked because yeah. they didn't have a clue. And the guy was so sweet, this, this uh, chap who like was completely honest and was just like... We had no instruction. No instruction. They've never done it before. There was one guy on the team that had done it before, but he called him sick. So, <laughs> so yeah, he was listening to us. And um, yeah, we, we made it work. We sort of spoke to um, our neighbors and we arranged with them how we were going to set The stewards up. didn't know about the 22 square meters per person, did they? No, no. So they didn't know how much space we were allowed. Yeah. Um, they didn't really know much, but they were very sweet and they weren't assholes about it. Um, so yeah, we just worked out ourselves. Um, we ended up with some lovely neighbours, yep. really lovely. Shout out to Elle if you're watching. Um, she had a birthday whilst we were there. Um, yeah, everyone was lovely as always, as everyone always is in, um, in Park Farm. Not been to Sleepy Holly yet, but I'm sure we were at some No, point. I saw they had a big tent. I yeah. think they had a big chill out area or something. I'd- we vaguely remember walking over the bridge into Sleepy Hollow to have a look, but we were pretty drunk by that point. Yeah. So it's kind of like a hazy memory. It's a memory we have, but we, we don't know if so, we can trust that memory. Yeah, but, I just, I had this flashback of standing on the bridge and looking down into Unless the Unless we saw a photograph. We <laughs> can't But um, yeah, I'm sure one I day we, we, will, we will camp in Sleepy Hollow at some point, I have no doubt. I well, always do try and get Park Farm because it's that bit closer. It's not much in it, but it's that little bit closer. With the dynamic pricing now, sometimes it I could be in the I think they're the same price for both, though. No, they're not. They were going up differently. Park Farm were more than okay. Sleepy Hollow by the end of it, yeah. yeah the dynamic that. pricing, yeah. So more oh, people okay. were buying Park Farm tickets, so the price was going up, uh, but the Sleepy Hollow price stayed Oh, uh, okay. Well, that's, lower. that's good to know because, um, you know, money. Yeah. But, um, yeah, I have no problem with Sleepy Hollow. At all. Got no. um, a lovely burger van over there, one year, and I think they yeah. have stuff this year. I think they give up on the whole bridge idea after a while as well and let you cross the actual road because my knees would not be able to take going up and down that bridge. <laughs> my, yeah, yeah, definitely not. Maybe once. <laughs> after that, I'd just ask if I could cross the road. Well, they've got the traffic lights, don't they? They've got traffic lights yeah. there. So I don't think they make you go over the bridge. I think it's easier so they don't have to stop the traffic. Um, and it's come a long ways from when everyone was worried about it being a muddy field to start with. When yeah, they, Dusty Hollow. When they first started, when um, the first year they introduced it. They, they, miss, they, they messed up on the sign for Sleepy Hollow. They, on the sign, it said Sleepy Hollow, and it's really bothering me. Yes. I, really annoying. 
it's annoying. They're like, going to be convinced that's what it is. It's Sleepy Hollow. They, they misspelled it, yeah. um, which is just infuriating. Um, I don't know why I care so much, but no. I do. <laughs> so yeah, but maybe one year. You never know. We might upgrade to a uh, district one. Yeah, maybe one day we're at the camper van. That'd be fun. Yeah. Um, yeah, I don't mind. We always tend to walk through District One when we walk to the village and stuff, like through Hell's Gate and that. It looks nice. There's no different to the rest. No, of and the really. thing is, but you can get an electric hookup if you do. But how long are we? How much time do you actually spend at the actual campsite? At the campsite. Not that much. So for a lot of it, for us, we've kind of got the best as we're going to get at the moment, I think. Yeah. In fact, um, I think I think Park Farm and District 1 and all that, I think that's actually closer to the noise that is the co-op and the people walking to the village. So I think actually Sleepy Hollow... Oh, it's the winner, the quietness. Is, is, yeah, the Pure quieter, quiet. yeah. more chilled out. And the noise from the co-op didn't bother me at all. No, um, you're at a festival. At the end of the day, you're at a festival. I, I just put in some headphones. You're never going to... You can't expect silence, even in... No. I would I, say it's quieter. I use like little earplugs and yeah. um, a few beers and I'm out. I'm no problem. So, yeah, noise noise never bothers me. And we had a lovely fishing beds this year. Yeah, we which had... were amazing. So comfortable. Camp beds for the new edition. Um, try and buy something a bit snazzy each time. Yeah. So camp beds were... Well, we've, uh, we've tried the inflatable beds. That didn't work. Didn't work. I don't get the last few years. I've just been sleeping on the ground with nothing, just the ground. We I thought it was good, but then we ended up in pain. We'd wait after it's my hip. after four nights, my 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 shoulder. Or... Yeah, just because I'm a side sleeper, um, your hip really hurts if you're just on the ground for a certain amount of time. So camp beds, um, absolutely amazing, so comfortable. Normally I like to get in the mosh pit, it's like one of my favourite things to do, but in that heat I was just so scared of passing out. Electric Cool Boys, the last band that we saw on the last day of the festival, um, I finally did get in the crowd and, you know, it was hard going. Um, I expected the set to be a lot shorter than what it was. They basically, maybe far two songs, played the whole set. That was definitely a highlight. We've only just seen them in Hammersmith. I think it was May 1st we saw them, so it wasn't wasn't long since we'd seen them. That was amazing. But other than that, I really enjoyed seeing Placebo. It was a first time playing Download, and it was super nostalgic. They were just fantastic. I really enjoyed Placebo. Uh, Ginger was amazing. Lorna Shaw. I forgot Lorna Shaw. Absolute highlight. When I was editing the vlog that I made, so I don't like to put whole sort of songs on there because it's it's a lot and people end up just skipping it. So I just put little snippets of songs. When Will was doing his vocals, he's just non-stop. I just, I didn't know where to, to edit it. It was incredible. Um, so I was so happy to see them live. It was insane. Yeah, massive highlight. It was so hot though. Um, I actually, brought with me these USB fans and I brought my rucksack with a power bank and just plugged in the USB fans into the power bank and we were just there with these <laughs> these uh, fans next to our face the security guard came over and he grabbed one and was just like oh my god it actually works <laughs> can't wait to go back next year I don't even mind if it rains because this year and last year I took my wellies and they didn't get used once <laughs> <laughs> they just came for a little journey to Donington. So I wouldn't mind wearing my wellies next year if uh, if, if needed, because um, they're really comfortable and um, they're probably my most comfortable shoes and I couldn't wear them in the heat because obviously it's sweaty as hell. Yeah, fingers crossed for a little bit of rain, or at least a little bit. I don't know, it was too dusty. I love the heat as well, but I think as I'm getting older, I can handle it a lot less. So, yeah, we'll see. <laughs> what was your favourite band? Um, so, probably Black Gold. Black Gold, yeah. yeah. Yeah, very good. Black Gold. The fact that it was a bit of a surprise that we saw them, because we only went in the, the tent, I think, to escape the heat. And then they came on and just, you know, they were something completely different, really. So Yeah, they were great. What about Bloody Wood? 
bloody went awesome. So good, do not they? such a vibe, like bouncing all over the place. So, I just dance non-stop. Yeah. Incredible. Yeah, a lot, lot of jumping around for bloody wood. Um, Nova Twins as well. Nova Absolutely Twins are great. Long, long. Absolutely. It was a shame we didn't catch them in the um, Park Farm yes. barn. Yeah, it was. But but they, t- they were running late. Exactly, they got delayed. Yeah, they just went to so they do a meet and greet and that was it. So. But we had a great time watching them on the main stage, so yeah. that was good. Yeah. Um, yeah, Metallica. Metallica, yep. obviously. Always good, you know. I, I was, I thought I wasn't going to watch Metallica, didn't I? Before, yeah. we got, before that, I was like, you got nah. emotional watching them. I got emotional watching them. It turned out so. I got emotional watching Evanescence. And obviously, I just realised placebo. To see yeah. placebo at download was yeah phenomenal. So good. So we had to make a decision, and that decision included missing Parkway Drive, which are one of my favourite bands. Um, I have seen them before, so we had to miss Parkway in order to get in the tent early to get a good space for Electric Cool Boy. Um, as I wish I could have seen both because I love Parkway so much, but I knew, I knew that Electric Cool Boy being in the tent, um, if we didn't get that early, then we would not get in that tent. And by the looks of it, watching other people's vlogs, it was a good decision. We did have to miss Slipknot. We didn't have to miss Slipknot, but we chose to miss Slipknot. Um, seen them probably about 10 times already. Love them, love Slipknot. Um, but we were so tired on a Sunday. Um, some days we don't drink at all. Um, for the past few years, we've never drank on a Sunday. We've just drank water um, and coffee. An iced coffee this year because that was refreshing. We are always just shattered. We could hear them from the camp though, so yeah, we still heard them playing. Um, but by all accounts, Corey's voice was fucked anyway, and he did apologise for that. They're playing on the jukebox right now, and I love Slipknot, but I have seen them so many times before that I didn't mind missing them this time, just so we can go back and have an early night. Um, on Sunday so we could be up to get out of the campsite early because that is really important on um, on a Monday morning at the end of the festival to beat the traffic so it was a good decision so Electric Hall Boy was our last band that we saw like actually properly saw on Sunday and then we kind of caught a little bit of Slipknot as we were walking back to the campsite and we heard a lot of Slipknot whilst we were back at the campsite but, um, yeah, Electrical Boy was the finale for us. And uh, it was a good finale. It was fucking epic. What was your favourite thing about Download? I have to say dancing on the Saturday night in the guest area. Yeah, I, I didn't film that. I I'm so gutted I didn't film you dancing. Uh, we had Sorry. such a good time Sorry. in the guest Sorry. area on the Saturday night. Um, after the bands have finished, they, they the guest area carries on for like a, like a party night with DJs. And Annie was dancing so was hard. He was the dance commander. Oh, Everyone was loving it. And yeah. I didn't film it because I was having such yeah, a good time. Good. Good thing. I was having such a good time. I didn't film any footage of it. But it was incredible. Yeah. Saturday night was awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, all of it. The whole thing, like you look back at it, and at the time, you're for the Sunday, you're dead, and you're looking forward to going home. But then, like the minute you get back, you drop off your bags and everything. You're like, oh, I want to be downloaded again. So. Like five nights is hard. It's in the mind. But as soon as you're back and you have like have a bath and you packs all the washing away and in the real world and then you're just like oh i want to go back now so if we could do like a five night festival have uh, two nights at home and then go back to another five night festival like constantly throughout the year that would be amazing yeah i agree uh who knows see if we get some more festivals in yeah, I'm, I'm looking into some other festivals, but it's a money situation. It is a money so. situation. You know, so. I'd love to go to Glastonbury one day, not for the music so much, just to experience what it's got. Well, and it's literally 20 miles, is it about 20 miles away from us? We live so close to Glastonbury. Yeah. 
And you we've never been. We've never even tried to go. If you go to the top of the hill in our town, you can see Glastonbury from where we are. It's so close to where we live, yeah. but we've never bothered to try and get a ticket no. because it's not our taste in music. That's the thing. It's a lot of money for something <laughs> that we're not that interested no. in. But yeah. they have a lot of like extra stuff. I know they have one or two metal bands. Yeah, are this special? Just the people that download are so sound. I don't think we've got anything else to add, really. We had a great time. I definitely want to check out the sites a bit, like I said earlier. I definitely want to do um, some partying in the sites a bit next year. We've just got to keep drinking so we can be prepared. Just training. Training, drinking lots. Just so we can survive festival season. <laughs>